this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Today, we've got a lot of exploring and side quests to get started on. Uh, now that we have the ship, we can basically rearrange our party however we like, so that's pretty nice. Uh, for now, what I want to do is I want to remove my equipment from everyone, since we can only use four characters at a time. Well, usually. Uh, I'm also going to, uh, oh yeah, here's the controls for the, uh, the ship there. Uh, I'm also going to head back to the Q's Marsh there to catch some frogs and also go back to Gizmaluke's Grotto to drop off the Kupo nut there. Uh, let's see, can I get back here? Yeah. And I'm going to take care of all that off screen there. To get back to, to the deck of the ship, you just press the triangle button there. And let's see, yeah, let's remove everyone's equipment there. Uh, oh, okay, I got to do it one at a time, I guess. Okay, well, fair enough. And then when you want to switch party members, all you got to do is just talk to Sid here and you can switch them out however you like there. Uh, when I'm done with all the stuff I was going to do off screen there, then I'm going to rearrange my setup as I have listed in the video description. I'm going to be using Kina for learning blue magic. And then I'm going to be using both summoners because they have a lot of abilities to work on now. Dagger just got a whole bunch of new summons and... You know, there's going to have a lot of big stuff to work on in the long term. So, I'll take care of all that off screen, and then we'll begin exploring the world! Alright, we're back. I've taken care of everything we need to do. So, uh, yeah, I know where I'm going. Uh, we've got a long way to go to get to our destination, so I thought I'd help pass the time with a little sea shanty, if you will. Just sit right back and hear a tale, a tale of a vengeful trip that started from this unused port aboard a stolen ship. The main man was a monkey boy, but Rusty has no power. Seven of them wanted to do side quests for the next six hours. Yes, six long hours. Vivi was getting impatient as we were getting lost. He wanted to visit his old friend's home or thunder he will toss. At half MP cost, we're heading to a swampy owl to learn some blue magic with the fat guy and Squeaky too, Amaranth and the mute and old dragoon. As we are stuck on side quests on land or Okay, looks like we made it in one piece at Lanar Isle, or Lanar Isle, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is where we want to go because we got Q's Marsh number three here. Lots of very powerful enemies here. Like I was saying earlier, uh, the enemies on disc three get a lot more powerful. So I want to stop on over here, maybe get some blue magic while we're here. Also want to catch some more frogs if I can. We'll see. That's one of the reasons why I brought Kina along. Also, well, for the blue magic, obviously, there. So, let's see how Catching Frogs here works. Well, this one's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Sure, sure, let's go catch some more frogs. Try to demonstrate a little strategy here, or if you care, I don't know. But anyway, let's see. We got a male frog. Awesome. Let's see if I can isolate that one in the lower right there. Or this one. That'll do, too. Female frog. Okay, let you go. Stay down there. How are you doing, Mr. Frog? Not too good for long. Got another female frog. Come on. Hop around. Hop around. No, no. Stay away from the... Stay away from the women, frogs! There you go. Uh, let's see. Another female frog. Awesome. I think at this point, if I find any male frogs, I'll just let them go. Just in case. You never know. Unfortunately, this one did not spawn a golden frog. So, well, the respawn rate... Won't be so hot here. No, no, don't go up there. Don't go near the men. Uh, okay, there's a male frog. Okay, so now I just gotta catch this one. And the one in the lower right. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Hey, gotcha. Okay, one more. One more. Come on. Get over here. Are you gonna become a golden frog, or are you just gonna get eaten by Kina? Hmm? Well, the respawn rate isn't that much worse with without a golden frog, so... No, no, let it go. Let it go. Let the feet, let the women go, Kina. I mean, I played the game uh, three times, and I never kept the golden frogs around, and I was fine. So, 
There we go. Okay. By the way, uh, when I was catching some frogs off screen there, I uh, got a silver fork for Kina. I think it was at 23 frogs, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. But uh, I already had the silver fork from fighting Tantarian, so it didn't matter. But there you go. Now, there is one particular monster that I want to try to meet up with around here uh, to learn a blue magic spell in the Q's Marsh. So if I can, great. If not, well, I'll find it off screen. Ah, there we go. There's one of the enemies I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I just did some not-so-clever editing to uh, weave that into the episode here. So let's see how uh, how much damage Kina can do to that guy. This guy is Anemone, and I want it. Hey, um, all the enemies that I'm looking for blue magic for right now have about 3,500 HP. So basically get them down to about, oh, well, what would that be? Probably about 2,700 HP. So let's see, I've dealt about 2,000 damage, so one more hit from Zidane ought to put it in critical, and then Kina should be able to eat the guy just fine. Alright, there we go. And yes, we got Bad Breath. Kind of odd that we would learn it from that guy, not a Marlboro, but well, you take what you can get. So there you go. Oh, and by the way, uh, there was a battle I fought off screen that I edited out there, um, where Dagger actually finished off one of her summons, which is pretty much what I want her to be working on at this point, learning all of her basic summons, because they're so cheap, you might as well. Uh, I finished off Shiva there, because it was the cheapest, So and then worked up to Atomos, and I'll just keep on going up until, well, I run out of summons to teach her. Not that I'm really going to use them right now, but it's just something to, you know, teach her. You can if you want, if you don't, well, you don't have to. Okay, so that's everything we want to do in the swamp there. Now, there's a couple more enemies that we can meet up with outside around the island that I also want to learn blue magic for. I think uh, that guy, Anemone, was weak to lightning, so uh, I don't have Vivi around, but where's the hell's the beach? Oh, there it is. And by the way, if you run into a monster around here called Gimme Cat, and they're asking for some ore or something like a friendly creature would, ignore it. It is lying to you. Haha! -ha, there we go. This enemy isn't lying to me. The Edamantois. Not nearly as hard as they are in Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, holy crap! Kino got killed in the last battle. Uh, I ran into a Grand Dragon, and uh, he kicked my ass. So, uh, yeah, we might want to revive him. I Sorry, I forgot to do that off screen there. Game? Well, that didn't work out too well. Let's try that one again. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, game. Well, first things first, we gotta get its HP down a little bit without killing it. Hopefully one more non-critical hit from Zidane will do the job. Just stay alive, Kina. What did I just say? Thanks. Maybe I should have used auto float on him. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, we've got his HP down. Yeah, one thing about getting to this point in the game, nice thing is that enemies get a lot more HP, so it's a lot easier to get their HP down low enough without actually killing them. So, so that way your eat command will actually work. Uh, thank you for not killing him, although I may want to cure Kina in case I don't know, maybe he'll fail to eat the guy, or maybe I didn't eat deal enough damage. Ha-ha! There we go! We learned Earthshake, one of the very few Earth Elemental attacks in the game. Not that it's that great, because hardly anyone is weak to it, but, you know, it's something that you can keep in mind. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. There. Are you happy, viewers? Nah, just teasing. But, uh, yeah, we learned some new stuff there, so let's see what we got. We got Berserk, but I don't care about that. Uh, what did you just finish? Uh, finish something. Oh, High Tide, right, from the Dark Hat, which I'm gonna leave on her anyway. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, we're almost done with Auto Reflect there. Now, the next enemy I'm looking for is on the beach. As with the previous two, if I don't meet up with it right away, then I'll just find it off screen. But you can usually find it on the beach. This one's pretty easy to find. The other two, not so easy. 
Well, I didn't find the uh, monster I was looking for on my first try, so we'll try again. Of course, if you're hearing me talking now, then, well, of course that means I found the monster I'm looking for. Let's see if this one's it. Haha! -ha! There it is! The Whale Zombie! This guy is weak to, well, a lot of different um, uh, elements, but uh, nothing that I care about. Well, I suppose I could cast Cure on it. Why not? Actually, hold on a sec. Let's wait to see if uh, Zidane gets a critical hit, just in case. But, obviously, being a zombie, I shouldn't have to uh, worry too much about... Um... Oh, there we go. Okay, you see? Glad I didn't use Cure on him. So now, let's try to eat him. Even though it's sort of like an instant death attack, it will work on a whale zombie. So, you know, this is the guy that we're looking for here. How he's floating in the air, I don't know. He's a ghost, I guess. But for eating him, we get level 5 death. One of my favorite blue magic spells in the game. The reason is because we learn a whole bunch of new abilities. Nah, nah. But uh, the reason is because uh, there's an enemy called Grand Dragon, who I don't... Did I show that to you? Yeah, I think I did a bonus episode on that. Yeah, I did. But uh, the Grand Dragons are susceptible to level 5 death. So now you can go back to that place that I showed you in that one bonus episode, meet up with those Grand Dragons, and then just one-shot them. And even on Disc 3, or especially in Disc 3, you can just get a ton of experience from them. They're still good at this point in the game. So I really like that. Uh, one other thing I want to show you before we're done for today is uh, hop on over to this island that has those chocobo tracks. Now, if you noticed on the way here, I kind of made a pit stop there while I was singing. And uh, there was a little cave that was, uh, that was well, pointing towards the ocean. But there's no way that we can get in there, well, just walking there or even with our ship. So what we have to do is stop off at that island there, uh, find the chocobo tracks, and then take your river chocobo all the way around here through the uh, the shallow water here. Because a well, river chocobo can't go through the ocean like Jesus chocobo can. So take what you can get. Just got to walk around here. I know it's kind of hard to see the difference between the shallow water and the deep water. But well, just kind of bear with me here. But yeah, there's no chocobo tracks on this island. So you can't just do it easily there. Hop off the beach and walk around here. No, no, it doesn't work that way. But you can stop off in this cave here, so let's check it out. See what's going on. Hmm. What's this place? This is the Chocobo's Lagoon. All right. And, uh, hey, looks like our Moogle friend followed us here. How do you get all the way over here? Well, I suppose he can kind of fly. Oh, he's, uh, got the blues now. He went on Blue's Clues and he was just never the same. Sorry. No. No, just kidding. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I'm sure that's just a rumor. Well, all right, how do we do that? You're not gonna tell me, are you? No, he's not gonna tell us. Well, we'll find out soon enough, viewers. But, uh, huh, really? We can find more chocographs! All right. Not quite as many as before, but still quite a few. Now, what he means it's tougher to dig around here is because um, of the water in the way. So when you dig, you'll deal sort of less damage to the ground as you're digging up stuff. But because we can only go through half of the area for now, because we can't go in the deep water part, you only have 30 seconds, but you have half the price to find more chocographs. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.